Good morning everybody. So this morning I am going to, I'm just on my way to Chic Studios in Sheffield to spend the day with Jane Earnshaw at Chic Studios and I'm going to be taking you behind the scenes of what it's like to have a boudoir shoot. Uh, I think that every woman should have the opportunity to have a boudoir shoot in their lifetime because I think it can be a really empowering day and it can really make you feel better about your body and really embrace everything about you. So I'm going to be taking you behind the scenes today and sharing you my day with Jane and I can't wait. I'm really looking forward to it. I am on my way Jane. I'll be seeing you soon and looking forward to sharing it. So hope everybody's having a good day and yes look makeup free. Um, I always like to have shoot days because I can just wake up and not have any makeup on. So I'm going to be made over and I will um, let you see all the makeup and everything today and, and take you behind the scenes so sporting heroes love boudoir shoots had a couple have a fab day thank you i'm so glad you've had a couple and I, I think it's one of those things that lots of women like the idea of but are too scared to try so hopefully by sharing today that i might bust some of those myths that might be scaring you and putting you off um, and then you know we can really empower one another so follow me today and i will be back shortly i'm just going to go and meet jane see you soon so as promised, I am behind the scenes at the Chic Studio in Sheffield and blown away already by all the different sets. So I'm just going to give you a quick little tour to show you where I'm going to be shooting today. So there's just so much to choose from different areas, but I am loving the pink vibe we've got going on here. I'm going to have so much fun today. Bit of festive vibe going on here, ready for Christmas. But what an amazing space. This studio really has just got everything. It's just really, really well organised. Perfect for couple shoots. Can't wait, really, really excited. And yeah, I'm gonna see if I can have a play around with this circle today squash my body in that that should be fun and then more boudoir which this is just beautiful so i'm going to do some boudoir shoots in here today so watch this space So I've just had my makeup finished by Amy and it's looking gorgeous. I'm getting ready to go on set. I'm just now doing my hair. Here she is. Morning, Amy. So we've just been talking about how as you get older, particularly once you get over kind of 40, how it's really difficult to, to get out of that habit of wearing the same makeup all the time and that, you know, actually changing the way you do your makeup as you get older can make such a big difference to how you look and how you feel um, when you're looking in the mirror. So what tips, Amy, would you give to older women when they're kind of thinking about changing the way they look? I think for the first tip, definitely if you're struggling with eyeshadow, um, I always say, do a lighter shimmer in like kind of your start at the front of your eye first and then just get darker and darker so then maybe like a more medium color in the middle and then darker at the um at the end um and then even with just like a fluffy brush just go either side and just blend blend and then you'll just got a nice kind of shimmery you can do it with any colors as well and it'll just be kind of a simple quick yeah. eye makeup blending is the key isn't it yes, that it is. you can is never blend key. too much <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Uh, what about foundation and skin because okay. obviously our change our skin changes yes, as we get older yeah. i know mine has gone through the menopause it's definitely dry as yeah. so i'm having to change the products i use yeah. so what can you recommend about foundations and bases so foundation i say always have a primer as well always get a nice primer that will help yeah um the for foundation wise i'd say either bb cream or like just 
really lightweight foundation like drops and you can build it up if you want more coverage um, or you could even add like concealer in different places if you want a bit more coverage as well yeah. I'd say definitely more of like your BB cream or your drop foundations that all that's that's what I would say definitely. brilliant great advice and also I think women kind of we hear lots of women as they get older say that they're left feeling invisible yes um, and actually lipstick can be a way of really kind of yes. enhancing your features so yes. do you find people are scared of trying new colors what would you yes. say about wearing bright lipsticks yes they are actually but um, uh, we've had loads of women here and um, I say do you want to try a bright lipstick even like if it's like a pink even though that's still quite a you know a, a subtle color yeah um, so we did like a nice, like a brighter pink and she loved it and it really brought her eyes out, everything. So even if it's just a pink or anything, yeah. um, peachy, peachy tones, really nice mm. um, for old women, but really nice peachy tones, I'd say um, peaches and pinks and even like a peachy red, even if like, you know, if you want to go outside of the box a little bit, yeah. because it will bring your turn out and stuff like that. So yeah, definitely. I guess it's about having fun, isn't it? And that's, that's, that's what it. the, you know, coming yeah. to Chic Studios and having this makeover day is yeah. something that really can empower women and make that's them feel it. so much more confident when they yeah. leave. Yeah. So I guess it's about being experimental and trying, isn't it? Exactly. And not being scared to try new looks. Exactly. Yeah, so we could even try after, like, obviously we've just got like a nice nude now, mm. we could obviously try a bit of more of like a, um, a brighter pink. Yeah. Just to see what it looks like, I think. Yeah. Fab. Brilliant. <laughs> well, watch this space. Amy's going to finish my hair off and then we're going to go on set. So I am with Jane Earnshaw, the founder of Chic Studios in Sheffield. And, you know, we just did a fantastic shoot together and um, I had a really great interview with her for the podcast. So Jane, thank you so much for spending the day with me today. It's been wonderful. Thank you. And, you know, you are all about empowering um, women to, well, not just women, but people to be more confident in their bodies yeah. through being in front of the camera. So what is it that, that has kind of sparked this passion for what you're doing? Um, and come and feel confident because so many people today, you know, they think, oh, I, I can't do that. I don't want to go on the camera. Um, you know, I'm too fat or I'm too thin or I'm not this. But everybody should just love who they are and just embrace it and, you know, be so passionate about what they do. Um, and we can do that at Chic, you know, we just we just really look after you. Um, and when you see your images afterwards, honestly, you just... You know, we have people who just cry because you're like, actually, I've just had such an amazing experience. And it is an experience here. Um, that's what you, you're coming for, the experience. Even if you don't want to, you know, take any of your images away, it's just a fun day. Um, and yeah, it's it's just fantastic. And just to see all the backdrops, the beautiful backdrops as well, they're just absolutely gorgeous. It is an amazing studio. We've, we've had some fun today doing some shoots and I'm going to do some more boudoir shoots, which I'll share with you later on as well. But, you know, if you are somebody that has been thinking about having a makeover day, a photograph session for yourself as a treat, then honestly, I recommend that you can do it because it really does give you that boost of confidence that we all need, particularly after COVID, you know, we've all been at home, we've lost our confidence, a lot of us, and it's a great way to kind of boost that back. So I would definitely recommend it and I will leave all the links um, on the stories as well so you can find out more about Jane at Chic um, and what the amazing team are doing. Um, but it's definitely been an uplifting day for me um, and I'm so glad that we connected on social yeah, media. Definitely, definitely. So thank you. Thank you. And it's been amazing for me as well. Thank you. Thank you. It's been really good fun. <laughs> Bye for now.